here we go again, boys and girls. Mr. G from the Academy Kids. Now, we've been talking about comparing and ordering numbers and using place value to help us compare and order the numbers. Place value is important because it helps us develop the vocabulary that we need to start using from here on in. Words like greater than, less than. So we can start off by looking at our hundreds digits, then our tens digits, and our ones digits to see which numbers are greater than or less than. Or ordering our numbers and which one is your lowest number and which one's your highest number. So boys and girls, this is the language we need to keep in mind as we move on. Now, we've done a few videos already on these numbers, comparing them using the greater than and less than sign. Now, for this question here, this is a bit of a word problem here that I want to do with you because this will definitely help you understand. Now, the number of toys in each box has three digits. So we have the digits three, five, and six. Now we can mix these numbers up to give us the amount of toys in each box. So if you look to your right here, we have box one and box two. Now, what I would suggest first, boys and girls, is to figure out how many numbers we can make with a three, a five, and a six. And you'll see once you have that down, and you put all those numbers there, you can use those numbers and you'll answer the questions below much, much easier. So if each box has toys that we can only use three digits, what numbers can we make there? We can make 356. And what else? We already used 365, so we'll put that down. We use that in the example. What else? Let's put the five in the hundreds column. So we have 536 and 563, just turn those two around. And one more, what number have we not used in the hundreds digits yet? That's right, the six, so six, what's left? 35 and 653. Boys and girls, those are all the numbers now that you can make using three, five, and six. So the next step is to have a look at these questions. Just put one more box here, this will help us right to the end. Okay, now make the space. Perfect, boys and girls, here we go. Box one always has fewer toys than box two. So box one, doesn't matter what number of toys are in there, which number we want to use, there's always less toys in box one. So, having a look at that, let's do box one. Let's take any one of those numbers. Why don't we start with the lowest number? Not smallest anymore, we're using the word lowest. We're using the lowest number. So let's say box one has 356. How many toys would be in box two? If box one always has less, and we know it's 356, could box two have 365? Of course it can, because that number is greater than 356, and we know the toys in box 2. There's always more toys in box 2. What else can we use out of our numbers? 536, 563, that's right, 635, I think you're getting it now, 653. Now, we see box 1 has 356, and there's less toys in box 2, so box 2 if you scramble up those numbers, you could have any one of those totals in box two. See how much easier it is now when you find out all the numbers you can make with three, five, and six. These questions now become very easy for you. And now we know we can do it in many, many different ways. So let's keep going. Let's say box one has 365 toys. So what other numbers can we use? How many toys can we put in box two? Can box two have 356 toys? No, it can't because 356 is less than 365. And we know box one always has less toys than box two. So if box two always has more, which numbers do we need to use? We can put, that's right, 536. We can use 563, 635 toys, and finally 653 toys. You can have that many toys in box two when box one has 365 toys. Let's take a bigger number now. 
Let's say box 1 has 536. Okay, how many toys can be in box 2? Can we use the number 365? Let's see, I'm going to, can we use 365 toys in box 2? No, we can't because we know 365 is less than 536. And box 2 always, always, always has more toys. So we're going to get that number out of there. What numbers can we use? We can use 563 because you have 500s, 6 tens, which is more than 3 tens in this number here. So 563 is greater than what else? 635 and finally 653. Boys and girls, what number can we use now? We can use 563 for sure. 563. Okay. Now, how many toys can be in box 2? When box 2 always has more that's right, 635 and 653. Boys and girls, you're starting to notice a pattern here. If that box now has 635 toys, how many toys can be in box 2 using our numbers up top? That's right, there's only one other option, 653, because that's the only number that's bigger. Now, can we use our last number, 653 toys, in box one? We can't, because we, don't, we can't make another number that's greater than 653 to put those toys in box two. So boys and girls, this is your answer here for this question. You just have to use the numbers on your left side and then find any number that's greater than the number of toys in box one. And the higher we went up with box one, the less and less numbers we had to choose from. So when your box has 356 toys, you can have all those totals there. You can have 365, 563 toys, and so on. Boys and girls, I hope you've understand how to apply this knowledge on place values and comparing numbers and ordering numbers is what we did here as well. And I hope you've taken this knowledge and understood this. If not, you can watch it again slowly. If not, contact us or watch another video on comparing and ordering numbers. This is Mr. G signing off. Thank you once again for stopping by. We'll see you soon.